The Shinsengumi, an organized special police force under the control of the Shogunate in the Gintama series, is responsible for the protection of Edo and its citizens. The group is also made out of the most prominent characters within the Gintama series as well, and some of these characters are actually based upon real-life historical figures from Japanese history. Today on Gintama Explained, we dive into the historical references and comparisons of Gintama's Shinsengumi police force and the original. In the series Gintama, the Shinsengumi was created by two government officials, Matsudaira Katakuriko and Sasaki Isoburo. But before the Shinsengumi, it was originally called the Roshigumi. Roshigumi, which literal name means Ronin Squad, was a squad comprising of 234 Ronin, or Samurai Without Masters, drawn from the sword schools of Edo. However, at its peak, the Shinsengumi had around 300 members total. This police force was created in order to counteract the Joeishi, outlaws that chose to overthrow the government, or any other terrorist for that matter, and eventually over time, most of the members disbanded, leaving between 19 through 22 Ronin left, and the group later became known as the Shinsengumi. Sorachi, the author of the Gintama series, drew inspirations from the group and added them into his series as a secondary protagonist of sorts, and while the uniforms of the Shinsengumi are vastly different as opposed to the real-life counterparts, Sorachi loosely based and used some of the main faces of the Shinsengumi in the shape of his own. In Volume 11 of Gintama, Sorachi actually revealed the captains and inspectors in which he took inspiration from. The first captain of the Shinsengumi is Okita Sogo, based off of Okita Soji. Second unit captain of the Shinsengumi is Nakagura Shinshichi, who is based off of Nakagura Shinpachi. Third unit captain Saito Shu, or Saito Shimura, is based off of Saito Hajime. Fourth unit captain Sugihara Chuji is based off of Matsubara Chuji. Fifth unit captain Takeda Kanasai is based off of Takeda Kanryusai. Sixth unit captain Inoue Genjiro is based off of Inoue Genzaburo. 7th unit captain Oka Sanjiro is based off of Tani Sanjiro. 8th unit captain Todo Bokusuke is based off of Todo Hisuke. 9th unit captain Nikijiro is based off of Suzuki Mikisaburo. And 10th unit captain Harada Unosuke is based off of Harada Sonosuke. The inspectors or spies of the Shinsengumi are comprised of Yamazaki Sagaru, who is based off of Yamazaki Susumu, Shinohara Shinoshin is based off of Shinohara Tainoshin, and Yoshimura Oritaro is based off of Yoshimura Kanichiro. When the characters of the Shinsengumi were being made, Sorachi originally planned for Shimura Shimpachi to be a part of the group as well, who was also loosely based off of Nakagura Shimpachi, who was the captain of the Shinsengumi's second unit. While not a part of the main unit, Shimpachi somewhat became a part of the group within the Forever Yorozua film and in certain episodes in the anime series, mostly appearing as a gag. Kondo Isao, the commander of the Shinsengumi, is based off of Kondo Isami, who led a long-standing history and legacy during and after his time a part of the Shinsengumi. Hijikata Toshiro, the vice commander of the Shinsengumi, is based off of Hijikata Toshizo, who made strict regulations for the way of the Shinsengumi in order to control its members. These regulations also made many members of the Shinsengumi unfortunately lose their lives. In the series of Gintama, there is actually around 45 regulations of the Shinsengumi. However, they are mostly regulated for the sake of gags, such as Regulation 12 from Episode 105 stating, no comics other than the magazine are allowed to be read within the confines of the station. There were actually five major regulations that the true Shinsengumi enforced. Those regulations being, one, to never desert the Shinsengumi, two, to never raise money privately, three, to never take part in people's legal or personal affairs, four, to never engage in private fights, and five, to never deviate from the Bushido code. The penalty for breaking any of these codes would result in a member committing seppuku, otherwise known as harakiri, which is a Japanese suicide ritual by the form of disembowelment. Okita Sogo, who was based off of Okita Soji, Soji was known to be a prodigy amongst the members of the Shinsengumi and as one of the best swordsmen within the police force. It is rumored that he was known to wield a katana known as the Kiku Ichimonji, and in episode 334 of Gintama, 
Kurama, Sogo bought the Kiku Ichimonji RX-78. Matsudara Katakuriko, who is based off of Matsudara Katamori, who was a military commissioner that was enforced to maintain the peace in Kyoto and was one of the main members to oversee the Shinsengumi, was stated by Sorachi himself that he really didn't dive much into Matsudara's past besides those similarities. But Sorachi did state that Matsudara's concept design is modeled after the American actor Robert De Niro. In the case of Ito Kamataro, who was based off of Ito Kashitaro, most of Ito's story from the Shinsugumi Crisis story arc in Gintama remains true. Ito was known as a very highly educated individual and was admired by Kondo Isami. Despite this, however, Hijikata distrust and grew suspicious of Ito and his true motives for joining the Shinsengumi. While Ito gained the trust of the Shinsengumi, he was secretly meeting with another clan known as the Satsuma clan, who was said to have made plans to assassinate Kondo Wasami. Eventually, after discovering his true motives, Ito was later assassinated by the members of the Shinsengumi. And that is the many comparisons that I could find regarding the Shinsugumi's history, structure, and historical influences in which the series of Gintama took a part of. This was quite the interesting video, I thought, and even I learned a few things about the Shinsugumi while researching for this video. If you happen to enjoy the video or learn something new, please drop a like on it as it really does help out the channel. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this one, and please feel free to leave comments in the comment section down below. Tell me what you guys thought about the video and let me know what other types of content you would like to see on the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope to see you all in the next one. Happy Holidays.